Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our page. Let us study 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6. If you bow low in God's awesome presence, he will eventually exalt you as you leave the timing in his hands. This is very beautiful. Now, when uh, Peter uh, wrote this one, he is saying that humility will lead you into a life that is exalted by God himself. If you want God to honor you back, it is when you decided to bow low in the awesome presence of God and when you acknowledge, the, uh, when you uh, leave the timing in his hands, when you uh, do not panic when things are out of your control. Um, I myself has the tendency to panic and uh, worry. But uh, when we understand that the Bible says when we surrender to God, when we commit everything to the Lord and leave the timing in his hands, he will exalt us. And in verse 7, it says, Pour out all your worries and stress upon him and leave them there. For he always tenderly cares for you. Now, I would like to encourage you today that when worry would strike and stress is, uh, is uh, really overwhelming, the Bible is teaching us to pour it all unto him and then leave it there. So many times we pour it out to God, we cry it out to God in prayer, and then after that, we worry again. We want to get it again. We want to really feel that uh, I'm in control, I should do this, do that. We wanted to be in control. But a lot of times we forget that God is God and we are not. And that, uh, yes, it's normal. It's uh, being human when we worry. But every time we worry and, and we stress out, we pour it out all to God. We lay it all upon him and leave it there. Try to trust the Lord with the process. And uh, another thing is that understand that he tenderly cares for you. When you understand that there is a God who is so powerful and limitless and he cares for you, he knows your name. You can always sleep at night. You can always uh, wake up in the morning with new hope again. Verse 8 is a warning. Be well balanced and always be alert. Because your enemy, the devil, roams around insistently like a roaring lion looking for its prey to devour. This is really an, a, a warning to all of us because a lot of times when all is well or when our spiritual life is all well or we're serving the Lord, we're in ministry or our business is going well, we have the tendency to just relax. We have the tendency to just, ah, everything is well and I, I will just, you know, I will not um, intentionally pray. I will not intentionally go and join my discipleship group or I will not just go to church because all is well. Now be careful. The Bible says that you do not fall. When you think, when you think that you are standing up, be careful that you do not fall. Because, you know, be alert because your enemy, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion. He is just waiting for that moment of your weakness to devour you once again and to, to destroy you. He is just waiting for that moment. Like, you will become a prey to devour. Verse 9, take a decisive stand against him and resist his attack with strong, vigorous faith. For us to overcome the attack of the enemy is for us to be strong in our decision. Be decisive. May, a made-up mind is a mind that the enemy cannot play with. When your mind is made up, I, I will not go back to that kind of life. I will say no to the works of the devil and fill your thoughts, fill your mind with the truth, with the word of God, with the strength from the Lord, and you're standing up against him, you know how to fight, you're learning how to fight the enemy, then you will be winning small battles, and then it's going to be bigger battles, but you will be winning because you are well balanced, you're alert, you are fighting the enemy, you know that you have an enemy. And so the Bible says that take a stand against him. Make up your mind. 
I will never go back to that kind of life that I did before. It's, it's the consequences. Uh, it's really very hard. Now, you can fight the enemy by how? Being strong, by having a strong and vigorous faith. You really need to, to uh, put your trust in the Word of God, study the Word of God, have a people that can be trusted that these people will surround you and advise you and counsel you the right way. Do not be alone in your battle. Whatever you're going through right now, that, that is not unique. Many of the believers of Christ went through that. And when you understand that, you'll be able to see that uh, these people also are struggling and these people also are facing a lot of troubles and they are overcoming it by the grace of God. The Bible says, um, and then after your brief suffering, the God of all loving grace, who has called you to share in his eternal glory in Christ, will, will personally and powerfully restore you. He will personally and powerfully restore you and make you stronger than ever. Yes, he will set you firmly in place and build you up. And this is the promise of God. He will do it. He has done it to Peter. He will do it to your life. He has done it in my life. He is the same God. He is a master of redemption and master of uh, restoration. And this is the thing that he's very good at. So allow the Lord to let you understand that your suffering today is brief. The Bible is very clear. It is just but short. Do not be discouraged because, you know, in this life, nothing is permanent. Your problem is also temporary. So that is why do not make a, a permanent solution to a pro temporary problem. For example, uh, your, you as husband and wife is going through something and you wanted a solution. You wanted, uh, let us break this up. That's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. So that's why it's important really to, to understand that what you're going through right now is a, a brief. Your suffering is brief, the Bible says. It is just but a short season and that God of all his loving grace uh, would personally and powerfully restore you. Believe for that restoration. Believe for that uh, promise of God that he will make you stronger than ever. God bless you. Uh, please share this on your Facebook wall and uh, share this intentionally to your friends and family. We also have a YouTube channel, PCGO Iligat.